happening right now. Several San Francisco supervisors have expressed their commitment to reparations for the black community. The African American Reparations Advisory Board presented a draft report today with more than 100 recommendations. There's a potential one time lump sum payment of $5 million to those who qualify. There could also be policy changes to address the wealth gap, infant mortality rates, and mass incarceration. <laughs> Okay, okay, so it's been a long, hard fight for reparations, right? A lot of people say black people are deserving for it, and we got even black people that's opposing reparations themselves, as if, you know, we're not, we not owed this. But anyway, California has been, you know, proposing a reparations bill for quite some time, and now they've come to a... Um, they come to an agreement of $5 million per eligible black resident of California. And um, to me, it sounds like a start. $5 million sounds like it could be quite shy of what they're, we are actually owed, but hey, it's a start. But they saying $5 million, one lump sum. It's something to think about. But anyway, let's get up into this article from CNN and after that I got a video that we're gonna play of a former Black Lives Matter activist opposing reparations and he's black himself so I'm my question now lies is he even eligible for reparations is he a African American does he come from a lineage of slavery because a lot of those people that are black who oppose reparations aren't even eligible to, to receive reparations and this is why they oppose it. And, you know, shout out to all of my uh, family members from the diaspora. And I say family members because, you know, we are all of the black family. But some of them people, they ain't, they ain't for reparations because that's going to empower black Americans who aren't from their lineage. And if they can get a piece of that pie, then they cool with it. But since they can't get a piece of the pie, then no. But without further ado, let's jump up into this article. We have CNN. As you see, it says San Francisco leaders show early support for $5 million reparation payments for eligible black residents. Let's get up into it. CNN. All right, it says that one time payment of $5 million to each eligible black resident is among recommendations unanimously accepted by San Francisco's Board of Supervisors as part of a draft plan by a panel proposing reparations. The move Tuesday was an intermediate step with a final report that includes board feedback due in June. The San Francisco African American Reparations Advisory Committee said, and the board said to meet again on the issue in September. So I guess we're gonna see what sep you know, what's in store for September. Now the real work continues, Supervisor Shaman Walton said, as I've said before, we have to stay focused and stay together as a community because now it is 100% more prevalent that we cannot be separated or divided. Let's not lose focus because we, when we receive the final report, we have to actually resource the path forward. While federal reparations efforts have stalled in Congress, efforts by cities from Massachusetts to Illinois to California to atone for harms rooted in slavery and address the racial wealth gap have gained momentum since the 2020 police killing of George Floyd, rekindled the Black Lives Matter movement. All right, and we all know the Black Lives Matter movement is a, uh, a farce. So, but be that as it may, the words Black Lives Matter still hold a lot of value. Let's continue. San Francisco's Reparations Advisory Committee was, com was created in 2020 to craft a plan to address institutional city-sanctioned harm inflicted upon African-American communities. But city leaders in recent months have questioned whether the city can fund the reparation proposals. Now, they question whether the city can fund the reparation proposals. They did not question if they could fund these Afghanistan, the Afghanistanians coming over and the Ukrainians coming over. All they did was cut a check. You feel me? So all I'm going to say is cut a check. Figure that shit out. Don't think too much on it. Don't think about it too much. Just cut the damn check. 
You feel me? I think the big challenge has been how do we quantify? How do we get to a number? Hmm. A number of what? The dollar amount or the number of people who are eligible? Because, you know what I'm saying, we can figure up a dollar amount. And also, the number of people who are eligible is not very hard. All we have to do is trace our lineage back to slavery. Very easy to do. You just got to do the homework. And then the next challenge will be where does the money actually come from? Easy. The government. The same government that enslaved our people. That's it. The same government that enslaved black Americans is the same government that's going to pay these reparations. Simple. Ain't no question of where the money coming from. That in question where the Ukrainians got the money from. Nope. That's what's going to always be my rebuttal. Because these people ain't even citizens of the United States and you can cut a check for them. You done no harm to these people, but you can cut a check for them versus the people you actually done harm to. Make it make sense. I don't get it. Who is responsible for that? The U.S. government. That's who is responsible. San Francisco Republican Party Chairman John Dennis told CNN affiliate KGO in January. Members of the public who addressed city lawmakers Tuesday supported dozens of the reparations advisory committee's recommendations related to financial reparations, housing, job creation, education, the school, the prison pipeline, health, and other local policies. Reparations is about justice said Mo McNeely, artist and generational San Franciscan, adding, we cannot have justice for some and not for all. Exactly. The system is not broken. Resident Darnisha Carlos said, no, it ain't. <laughs> it is working exactly the way it was intended to. And I think we need to acknowledge that. Understand that. And as the supervisors have chimed in and said, they support this that they want to see reparations. Yeah, so Darnisha Carlos spoke volumes when she said it is working exactly the way it is intended to because when they created these constitution, uh, when they created the constitution, when they created all of these things, black people were still enslaved. And in the, I can't remember which one of those amendments, so I don't want to say the number, but black people are considered three-fifths human being. So anything that says we the people and all of this type of stuff, it wasn't including us, black people, because they didn't even look at us as human beings. You feel me? So yes, this, this, this system is working exactly how it's supposed to. We just dumb enough to keep on going along with it and playing along with it. Like how stupid can we be at this point? As educated as we are, we got to be the dumbest, most highly educated niggas that has ever hit the planet because we got all of this technology schooling us at our fingertips that our ancestors didn't have. Anyway, let's continue. I trust when the rubber hits the road that those who have stood in solidarity today will stand in solidarity with their vote. So basically they saying, hey, if you're talking that good talk today, I'm going to need to see that same shit in them votes. So I'm going to need y'all to go out there. If y'all want to vote for something, then yeah, this is the time to be voting. Vote for reparations. Yeah. I just said the reparation advisory committee has no authority to implement its recommendations. It laid out in January a list of qualifying criteria for the, for the payments it processes, including age, residency, and an ancestor's enslavement, displacement, or exposure to lending Discrimination during uh, certain periods. So, yeah, basically you just have to trace your lineage to slavery and you should be eligible for um, the $5 million reparation payments. But let's check out old boy who's opposing reparations. And his name itself does not sound like somebody who's a black American. But I digress because I could be wrong. Let's check him out. Joining me now is Xavier DeRosso, a former BLM activist turned PragerU personality. Xavier, great to see you tonight. Um, you have an interesting perspective. He's a former BLM activist. That ought to let you know how janky he is right there. So let's just, you know, on this keep that in mind. Explain. 
Yes, I think it's important that, first of all, we call this exactly what it is. This is 111 ways to gaslight black Americans into thinking that we need to be dependent on a system of handouts in order to be successful. Black Americans have been indoctrinated with these lies for far too long, and I used to fall for the lies until I took a deep dive into the videos on PragerU.com and realized how easily debunked these fraudulent narratives surrounding systemic racism actually are. Well, right now, it seems like the San Francisco Board of Supervisors and then the Task Force on Reparations in California, that they are dangling the prospect of a lot of money and a lot of property and a lot of debt forgiveness. Does this end up blowing up in their faces? Absolutely. This is never going to actually happen. It is so unrealistic to think that the <laughs> average family in San Francisco is going to be able to pay $600,000 extra a piece. And you know, when people look at this list of the things that they're recommending, the most alarming thing for most is the $5 million going to each black person. But for me, as an American, I'm looking at this list and I see that they're wanting to sell homes at $1 to black Americans. As an, an American and as someone who used to live yeah. in the San Francisco Bay Area, it's disgusting to me that we are more focused on slavery, which ended in 1860. Then we're focused on the veterans who are on the streets of Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Boy, that man got them tap shoes on, boy. I'm telling you. Francisco, homeless and begging for spare tap change. Tap dancing but phone. That's where they need to start sending their money. This but guy right here. That, you know, white liberals just have no interest in opening up their wallets. I'm looking at this list and I see that they're wanting to sell homes at $1 to black Americans. As an, an American as they as should. who used to live in the San Francisco Bay Area, it's disgusting to me that we are more focused on slavery, which ended in 1865, than we're focused on the veterans who are on the streets of San Francisco, homeless and begging for spare change in 2023. That's where they need to start sending their money. This. But don't God. you agree that you know white liberals just have no interest in opening up their wallets? They never do. If I went up to a white liberal and handed them my Venmo account, they wouldn't send me any money. But they're the first people to demand reparations <laughs> because it's just another level of them virtue signaling. And like you saw in some of those prior clips, people are taking full advantage. They're selling their books. They're selling black people their own oppression because it's profitable to indoctrinate people with victim mentality. Mm. Xavier, great to see you tonight. Thanks. Well, there you have it. See, it's always going to be a coon like this that's going to, you know, bring us back down, crab in the bucket mentality. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they pay these types of Negroes off. They give them big chicks, you know what I'm saying, to speak the way that they speak. It. Sometimes they ain't even got to do that because black people will take down black people for free you know what i'm saying and first of all like i said this dude cannot be from the lineage of slavery because he talking about some we worried about something that happened in 1865 that it ended in 1865 we more worried about that than we are the veterans in 2023 boy if you don't shut the fuck up and go if go pay some veterans your reparations money then if you are even eligible how about that speak for yourself jack you feel me? Speak for yourself, man. Anyway, if you vibed all the way out to the end, I really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Leave me your thoughts below, you know what I'm saying? Are black people owed reparations? Until next time, I should advise me. need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes like you're supposed. Oh, yeah, no. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, God.